Hi guys. It's the Geek. It's been a few years, I think. Um, the series of videos is a long time coming. I filmed them. I filmed them for my hero who passed away around the time of their filming. Um, without even knowing it, Stanley became my hero. And it kind of came more obvious the more he became in the public eye. He passed away a few years now and his loss, his loss is still felt by many including myself and many others. This was meant to come out very soon after it was done being recorded but it was such a big job, at least editing-wise, that it got away from me and it slipped through the cracks and I lost sight of it for a long time. But um, I recently stumbled onto it, finished it, and this is the first of six episodes. Meant to be a thank you for the man who taught me how to be responsible. I hope that his family and friends understand that the people that he influenced still think of him with warmth and respect and thankfulness. There's too many people in the world to count that have been affected by his influence. So. I just wanted to thank Stan Lee, Stan the Man Lee, for, uh, for being the hero many of us needed. That's it. Enjoy the videos, guys. back with Angie and Chi and uh, damn it. <laughs> and we're doing another um, uh, review on a reality show and uh, a little bit of backstory on the idea for this is uh, was it November or December that he passed that was November wasn't it when Stan the man Lee passed yeah, away Stan, in 2018 oh. Stanley Martin Lee were passed away damage real Stan Lee passed away a couple months ago and after grieving, which never really ended, um, 
I started like looking online for that stuff that because everybody was posting Stanley mem memorial stuff. There's actually this great collage of a statement he made about when he might pass or something like it was really beautiful and I'm not gonna try to mirror it here. Uh, as I was looking through this stuff, there was like a bunch of fan documentaries made, and one of them brought up a show that I had watched aggressively when it first came out, and I couldn't find the second season when it came out. And the whole first season's on YouTube, but I can't find the second season anywhere. I can find like commercials of it on YouTube, and that's it. Mm. But uh, I thought we need to watch this on the show. And uh, which, by the way, I can put. Because it's on YouTube, I don't think I'm going to get flagged for like using cuts of the show on the video. Nice. So, we're actually going to show some reactions to what's going on as it happens, including when I finally show these guys what this show is. So. Show the show. I knew it! Shut up, Chief. I knew it! Shut up! Somewhere inside all of us. Lives a hero. I watched this. I already know which one Angie's gonna root for. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the opportunity of a lifetime. I I, I want to be I want to be a superhero. It's the chance to make lifelong fantasies a reality. The source of life. I am tuberculous. Slime ball, baby. It's slime ball. <laughs> I'm monkey woman. Some of these guys are truly bizarre. I believe that. But more than anything, the last hero standing will receive the one prize money can buy. Immortality! This is something I've really wanted to do since I was little. This is the culmination of everything I've done in my life up to this point. In a contest unlike any other, one winner will have their character immortalized in an original comic book by Stan Lee. The winning character will also be featured in a new sci-fi Saturday night original movie. I feel like I have died and this is my own personal heaven. Every really good superhero has what's important on the inside and that's what will test you on they'll experience a roller coaster of emotions this is ridiculous i would never do that one by one the competitors will be eliminated in a dramatic ceremony like no other i remember what the last time i watched is like a couple months ago when it came up in my head i couldn't help but wonder what's stan's wife thinking during this entire filming of this show. It is now time to meet the world's next great superhero. product of the 60s that it's hard to see him in today's world. I know. Welcome, superheroes. I'm really glad you found the place. And no, you are not mistaken. Are not I just picked the little guy up. Hello? I can see it now, Mom. <laughs> this really is the lair. However, I'm afraid one of you will not be allowed to enter. They're already doing an elimination. I've enlisted the help of one of my assistants to infiltrate your group. <gasps> what a twist. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> You see, I've got to be sure that all of you are here for the right reasons. Hi, Maria. You see, really? Sure Who do you think the traitor is? Oh, boy. Uh, uh, 
I, yeah, I guess Lemuria. Really? Lemuria. Wow. I gotta admit, I had no idea the first time I watched this, but I felt stupid the minute they showed it. I think it's a little you, New York guy. Uh, does anyone see where uh, I went? Right here. Oh. <laughs> Are you the spy? Kind of sneakers. What about you, Golden Girl? Golden Girl? Who is it? Who is it? Mr. Lee. I knew it. Rodeyard, did you gather the information? I did, sir. <gasps> it was him. Rody art, spelled backwards, is traitor. The minute, oh! the minute I might take him seriously, he does a jump twirl. I'm like, okay, done. I've had all of you on tape since the very beginning, watching all of your moves, recording our conversation on this secretly hidden camera. Rody art, may I please see the footage? Yes, sir. I found three heroes whose character is suspect. <gasps> Levity. One of the main qualities of a superhero is selflessness. I understand you have a toy shop and you hope to make millions on your character. The person who will not be entering the lair is... Levity. I'm afraid I've got to ask you to turn in your costume. Yeah, they just eliminated Lemony. No! No! They shouldn't eliminate the cute one. Don't, don't help her. <laughs> but that's what happened when the, the cut. The, you, you can What's wrong with eliminating the cute uh, ones, Angie? It's because they're eye candy. They <laughs> keep you. They keep your your eye interested. So you would be more like creature in this situation. <laughs> oh my. In which case you would have been on the chopping block. But I didn't get it. <laughs> okay, true believers, listen up. All superheroes must be able to change from their everyday clothes into their superhero costumes at a moment's notice. Now, this challenge you're about to embark on, it's a race to the finish. Think Clark Kent looking for a phone booth. When I summon you on your communicators, you must quickly find a place to change without anyone noticing. Then, you must run as fast as you can. The finish line is that purple archway. The one who completes the task the fastest in true superhero-like fashion wins the challenge. Feedback, do your best, go! Some sort of peril for my haphazard attempt at leaning forward. I need an adult. I can't find my mom. <laughs> Help me! Help me! Help me! You run right past her? What kind of superhero are you? I honestly don't think he noticed. I honestly think he was so focused on what the mission was. <laughs> this could not be more important to me, so I take everything very seriously and follow instructions to the letter. I genuinely don't think he noticed. I think he was like blinders on, you know? Maybe he really hates kids? No. Yeah, Is that that's Cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hi, birds! <laughs> I lost my mom. Where is she? I don't know. I Who is this child's mother? I'm playing it up! <laughs> What's your name? Alice. Alice! Security office over here. Here, climb in my arms. 
Am I gonna see her? Of course you'll see her. Just the way he runs! <laughs> God, he's so Super happy. camp! I love, I love his campiness. I love his campiness. He's got like William Shatner. Yeah. Oh my God, I love him even more now. <laughs> I might not have had the fastest time today, but I felt like a winner, not a wiener. Superheroes, this actually wasn't a test about speed. I had placed a little girl right before the finish line who obviously needed help. That crying child was the most important element of this test. When I found out the true challenge today was saving the little girl, every part of my body went to just cave in because I missed it. Creature, Tyveculus, Monkey Woman, you did not stop. Nitro G, Iron Enforcer, Feedback, you did not stop. Nitro G, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to step onto the red cube. Monkey Woman, I must ask you to step onto the red cube. Iron Enforcer. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to step onto the red cube. This is a very difficult decision. But, as I stated earlier, there can only be one winner. The person who will leave the lair tonight is... Okay, so we made it to the first real elimination. Who do you guys think is going home? We've got Monkey Woman, Iron Enforcer, and Nitro G. Of the three, who do you think is going home? Iron Enforcer. Edgy 90s anti-hero wannabe. My cat is peeing, I think. Oh no. Is she in the litter box? All right, so you guys both think that Iron Enforcer is going home? Yes. Yeah. Okay. He's a son of a bitch. Just couldn't iron out those horses. Let's find out. The time has come. This is a very difficult decision. But, as I stated earlier, there can only be one winner. Therefore, the person who will leave the lair tonight is... Nitro G. Oh. What? He'll explain. He was too innocent. He couldn't handle it. Son, you still have a little growing up to do. But tomorrow is another day, and I'm sure I shall see you again. Not really, because that's not how the show works. Yeah, no, you're going home. You don't have a second chance. Nitro G, turn in your costume. It's so weird. How how could he? I honestly think like um, 
it really came down to like how much he tried to hide. He's like every oh. every other person skipped the little girl. That's not really enough anymore. Yeah. Uh. And part of it is he wants to see like how many people are really going to try to give it a second chance, and who he believes will. Granted, I would have voted for Iron Enforcer too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I really thought that I would have been here a lot longer. I knew I messed up when I found out there was a little girl there. I should have been more conscious. I should have been more aware. It wasn't about the race. It wasn't about the changing. It was about helping a person in need. And I totally didn't notice. After this experience, I'm going to go back home. I'm gonna work at becoming a better hero and a better person. Superheroes, I told you at the beginning that some of our challenges would not be as simple as they appeared. Now I think you realize what I was talking about. I wish you all luck. We're going to need it. Okay, so that was the first episode. What do you guys think so far? Like, here, here's some quick. First of all, based on that one episode, would you watch more of this if we're on TV right now? Sure, I would. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was, did. I, I fucking made time for this show when it was on. I oh. thought this show was going to snowball when it first started. I didn't watch it all the time because I was only on like 12, it, it's, but... It's definitely very corny. Yeah. But that's kind of part of the but, charm. I yeah. Think. Mm. I love the campiness. It, yeah. It's the charm of it. So we've yeah. got a few people left. Um, There's Iron Enforcer, Lemuria... Um, cell Phone Girl. Cell Phone Girl. Um, who's the other one who was... Monkey Woman. Creature. Uh, Creature, Major Victory, Feedback, Fat Mama, I think that's everybody. Tyveculus. Who do you think the three finalists are going to be? Who are the, th who are the three you like the most right now? Comic, I, I mean, Cell Phone Girl. Comic Book Girl. <laughs> you like Cell Phone Girl? We know how yeah. you feel about Cell Phone Girl. But she brings nothing to the table. Nothing. What would you do if you met her? I would smack her. It's like, bring more to the table. That was so much better in rehearsal. <laughs> yeah. Like it's okay. I that was it. ten minutes ago. I've changed, John. <laughs> She's an ever evolving individual. By the way, my camera person Jill is here too. We haven't brought that up. I'm sorry, Jill. Her quirkiness. Yeah. <laughs> Major victory. Okay, so all right. And you, you want cell phone girl, major victory, and who else? Feedback. You think those three will make it to the top three? Yes. How about you? I like feedback. I like. What's her name? Lumiera? Lumiria. Lumeria. 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 It's hard. It's a hard word. Feedback, Lumeria, and, uh... Sure, Monkey Girl. I like those choices. I, I Thank can't, you! I can't give you any ideas on how right you are or not. Uh-huh. Because I feel like I might give something away if I do. Don't oh, do I can give something no, away. No, you, you shut up! I know. I'm not trying to be a dick, I'm just saying. I have to word my questions very carefully around you, because I think you know how this ends. Damn it. Sadly. When you Careful. first watched it, who are your top three? Yeah, oh god, that's... Thank you. Um, ah. Frick. Alright, my top three to win would have been... Like, who I would have wanted to win? Yeah. Feedback, major victory... And I... I god, third one's hard. Um... Damn, that's really hard. It's like a lady. I, I want to, but I... It's okay. Like, yeah, I want to. <laughs> Honestly, um, is the best yeah, uh, I guess... I, I gotta base it on just this one episode, so... Yeah. Um, That that was definitely hinging my my thought process a little bit. Uh, I guess... I'm gonna say... Uh, what's her name? Lemuria. Yay! Hey. One of us. One of... Oh, wait. Thank <laughs> you.